Okay, so good day class. So we're co going to continue our discussion. Actually, this will be the last part of the topic fluid flow measurement. And today, we're going to continue our discussion on the uh, unsteady flow and wheels. Okay, so we have the unsteady flow topic for this day and wheels. Under that, we have this five uh, subtopics which are, which are rectangular, triangular, tripoletti, or we have also the sutro or the proportional wheel and the submerged sharp wheel. Okay, so let's have first a discussion on the unsteady flow. Okay, so when we say unsteady flow, no, so from the idea of the orifice, okay, we know that in computing for the volume, we have to multiply the discharge by the time, right? So, we, we could arrive for the value of our, what, of our volume, okay? So, from that, no, Q is the discharge and uh, in a constant or steady flow. So, that is for steady flow. This formula, actually, or this is for steady flow. Okay, this is for steady flow. Okay. So, how about if there are circumstances wherein the flow is unsteady? Okay, so, from that formula, that volume is equal to uh, Q times time. Okay, let's have that on this one. So, this illustration show or a tank shown in the figure that, uh, no, that, Okay, to be supplied with the fluid. No, there's an inflow no, from the faucet and uh, simultaneously discharging from throughout an outlet or either an orifice or weir or tube. Okay, so from this, no, we could actually say that if the diameter of this one no, is smaller, no, if the diameter of the source is smaller than the diameter of the in the pipe or in the tube or the orifice, you could actually say that Q or should I say the other way around, no, the diameter of this one is larger, no? D in is larger than D out. Therefore we could actually say that Q in is greater than Q out. Okay? So if that's the case, no? Uh so we could actually have the this equation no, that the volume is equal to multiply discharge multiplied by time. Okay? So using this one, okay, using the idea of having this one and this illustration, since it's unsteady, so we have this area sub s or a sub s of the or the surface, no? But we are getting it on the side of what in the portion or so in short we're going to uh, have the derivative of that so we know that area or should i say from this one no q or v volume is equal to q times time okay so we'll write on that and then volume so we get the derivative so because there's a strip of a sub s so dv is equal to okay the change in the discharge multiplied by dt. So that is dv is equal to q in because q in is greater than q out minus q out multiplied by dt. So therefore, dt from this equation is equal to, I'm uh, sorry, dt is equal to dv over q in minus q out. Okay, that's our equation, okay? So, where dv there is the differential volume, okay, lost over differential time dt. So, n to po, i, this is the differential volume, okay? This is differential volume lost with the differential time, ito yun, dt. Okay, so in short, no? Unsteady talaga yung flow niya. Okay? Hindi natin alam kasi, no? So, meron tayong range lang ng values na pagbabasihan. Okay? So, 
Yan. So, if the head over the outlet H, no? Yan, yung nakikita natin, yung H ito. Okay? So, then the level will drop the H, no? So, ibig sabihin, may range tayo. Thus, we could have the equation to to this. Uh, we could have the equation, no? So, that A, sorry, we could have the equation dv na is equal to asdh. So, from here, no, let's say ito yung ating area. So, we know that that velocity is area times height. Ba? So, therefore, we could actually say that dv from this is a sub s multiplied by dh. Okay? So, thus, no, uh, substituting that from the equation that we've uh, arrived, no? So, Let's rewrite the equation. So, let this dt. I'm sorry. This is dt is equal to dv over, what is that? Q in minus Q in minus Q out. Yan. But we know that from our what we've discussed a while ago, that dv is a, a, a sub s dh, no? So, this one. This one multiplied by this. This is the volume. So, substituting dt is equal to a sub s dh over q in minus q out. Okay? So, that is our equation, no? So, from that equation, since we don't know the limits, no? We don't know the limits of our uh, height. So, integrating both sides of the equation. So, we could arrive with the formula, which is this one. Okay. That is equal to, okay, this is the height. Ito yung kanina, di ba? So, this is h t is equal to, or the time to lower the level from h1 to h. Assuming, now this is in this one, okay, q out is greater than Q in na. So, pabaliktad, no? So, ganito siya. Okay? So, that is equal to, yan, ito. The equation na to. A sub, a, a sub S dH over Q in minus Q out, ranging from H1 to H2. So, if the other way around, no, pabaliktad na, so, lalabas na, ito, nireverse natin, no, interchanging the sign, and Q in is equal to zero, that means, walang pumapasok or walang just like unlike yung kanina walang faucet so ganito na lang siya okay so pabaliktad na rin parang from h sub 2 to h sub 1 na yung limit okay so kasi change natin yung ay sorry change kasi natin yung sign okay change natin siya so iba na yung kanyang itsura and a sub s there okay is a variable must be expressed in terms of h na ito that's why it's multiplied by dh now, it's a variable na kailangan mo multiply natin sa h. Okay? So, from this equation, no? from this equation actually, ng unsteady, ng unsteady flow, from this, we could actually have this one, no? Ito. Yan. We know that from the uh, concept of orifice, naman? this is an orifice, no? This side, this is an orifice. Ito po. Yan. So, we know that the Q actual or discharge is C or the coefficient of discharge multiplied by the theoretical discharge area multiplied by velocity. Okay, this one. But we know from the formula that, okay, so that is A sub S. So let's write this one. So we know that kanina, that T is equal to the integral of, done. so let's go back to, to the idea of Q out, no, without first interchanging the sign. Actually, if we interchange the sign in respect to this, lalabas, this is the integral of A, S, D, H na malaki over, this is Q out, tama? So, this is C, A, square root of 2, G, H. So, this is Q out. But the, but the limits is, or are, H sub 1 to H sub 2. Okay? So, ayan yung limit. So, ayan na. So, let's simplify it. So, T is equal to 
a sub s, no? let's remove the constant c, a sub o, or for the orifice, no? multiplied by square root of 2g. So, matitira na lang is the integral of h raised to negative 1 half because it is square root of h, pero 1 over square root of h na nga. h sub 1 to h sub 2 dh. So, from that, no, we could actually have this equation simplified further. a sub s over c, a sub o, again, this is for the opening, square root of 2g, multiplied by this one. No? Ito na siya. Paano lalabas? N, sorry, n plus 1 over n plus 1, it will multiply equal to 2, h raised to 1 half, no? The limits are h sub 1 to h sub 2. Okay. From that equation, okay, we could actually have our final equation, no? Simplifying to this one. Yan. Ito na siya. So, that is equal to 2as over c a o multiplied by square root of h sub 1 minus h sub 2. Okay? So, where time t is for the head to change from h1 to h sub 2. So, ito yung formula na ginagamit natin for unsteady flow. Okay? Aside from the first ones that I've presented. Okay? So, if we have this definite height, no? Even if it's unsteady flow, hindi natin mag-integrate. Unlike the other one, no? Let's go back. Ito, we have to integrate. No? We have to uh, apply the Q out of formula or the discharge formula depending upon on the uh, value of the theoretical discharge or the theoretical velocity. Okay, from the orifice. Okay? So, this is the formula for that, no? for the unsteady flow. Okay? So, that is for a tank, no, with unsteady flow. How about if there are two tanks, no? May dalawa tayong tanks na pinag-uusapan. Okay? So, for example, this one. And so, if there are two tanks, no? This is the formula. Actually, it came from the formula kanina, no? But this time, we, uh, if there are tanks, no, connected, no? By an orifice, so this will become the formula. So, hindi na natin derive for the sake of time. No, but it came actually dot if you notice now this two AS came from the integration kanina. Okay? Or the process na ginawa natin for the unsteady flow ng isalang na tank. Na iba lang from this one no so this is the multiplier actually ito pa rin yon no yung h square root of h tama. So hindi pa siya na integrate no so meron pa tayo uh integration process sa pagdadaanan. So, A sub 1 and A sub 2 are the area of the surface water. No, ito, yung dito sa side na to, yung A sub 1, ito yon, And then, this is for A sub 2. Now, in this A sub 2, the velocity loss is equal to the velocity gain with respect to this height, no, yung H sub 2. Kaya, meron pa rin tayong H, no, na uh, may integration pa rin tayo dahil nga merong loss and gain of height. Okay? So, integrating this one, okay? And so, if we're going to continue to integrate this one, mangyayari ay, mawawala na yung ating, ano, mag magkakaroon na tayo dito ng square root. So, this one will become constant, okay? And this will become equal to square root of h sub 1 minus h sub 2 na lang, okay? So, ganun po lang mangyayari. So, if or just uh, have this formula with you, para at least isa na lang, no? Kumbaga, no need to memorize other formulas. So, given na meron tayong dalawang uh, height, no? Or unknown height na kailangan integrate because it is, remember, it is unsteady flow. Okay? So, that is for our unsteady flow equation. So, just like I've said, coming dito, na naisa lang yung tank, and then kapag naging dalawa na, gigigalita na siya ulit, no? So, may mag-integrate and then, Ano mangyayari? Magiging ano lang to Constant to itong side na to So, I will uh, highlight this one with green. So, ito magiging constant. Ito mamultiply lang siya dito. And then, we will have the, this one kapag in-integrate natin, lalabas to square root of h sub 1 minus square root ng h sub 2. Okay? So, ayun po yung magiging kanyang formula. Okay ba? So, that is for our formula or should I say for the 
uh, equation ng ating unsteady flow. Okay? So now, let's move with our next topic which is wear or wears. Okay? So, when we talk about wears or wear, no, uh, it covers uh, a wide variety of 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 topics or subtopics. Now, wears, no, as defined, are overflowing structures which are built across the open channel. So, yan. so for the purpose of measuring or controlling the flow of liquid. So, uh, just like I've said before, no, in orifice and Nozzle. So, ang nakokontrol natin na flow ay yung ating discharge at yung ating velocity. Sorry, velocity. Okay, so hindi na natin nakokontrol yung area kasi nga, yun ay given na. So, ito ay actual, no? Both actual to. Yan. So, but before before the actual, magkakaroon tayo ng theoretical, di ba? From the Bernoulli's energy equation. So, that is E sub 1 is equal to E sub 2. So, this is the baseline actually of the wear also, not the same with orifice. So, wears have been commonly used to measure the flow of water, but it is now being adapted to measure flow of other liquids also. Okay, so, may tayo mga formulas and principles that, uh, that we will going to be discussed now as we go along with this topic. So, in relation to wears, we have this classification of wears. We have the rectangular, triangular, trapezoidal, circular, and parabolic, okay? Yung ito yung mga com ang commonly uh, used no na wheels ay itong tatlo. So kaya if you're going to uh, encounter problems on hydraulic especially on wheels no, usually ito no rectangular, triangular, trapezoidal, bihira yung mga circular or parabolic where in we're going to use the uh, application of differential equations or integration no or or differential equations. Okay? So the flow of wear or of the flow over a wear may be either be free or submerged, no? So may tatawag pa rin tayo na mga type of flow sa wear. So kapag flow sa wear, we have this free flowing and we have this submerged. Yan. So the same thing with our orifice, no? Pag free, so walang disturb the other side is okay lang siya, no? Uh, walang uh, kahit na anong water, parang diretso lang. Kapag submerge, both sides submerge. Okay? So, wheels or, or sorry, wheels also may be same as orifice. So, yung ating wheels may be also uh, sharp crested or broad crested. No? It could be sharp crested or broad crested. Okay? Yan. So, depende sa kanilang application. Okay? So, those are the classification of fears, the rectangular, triangular, trapezoidal, circular, and parabolic. So, we, under that, the subclassification, I write on the right side, no? So, we have that, when it comes to flow, we have the free and submerged, and when it comes to the type of fears, or according to the form, no? Or form the tongue wheels, no? We have the sharp crested and the broad crested. Okay? So, now let's talk about the terms, or should I say, yung mga terms na nakikita nyo when it comes to wheels. So, ito is ang illustration ng path lines of a rectangular sharp crested wheel. So, rectangular yung ginamit, a common type, and then form is sharp crested. So, ito mukhang, uh, mukha siyang submerged pero hindi kasi yung isang side ay hindi naman uh, mas mababa yung kanyang elevation, di ba? As you could see here, no? So, mukhang free-flowing, no? Free-flowing yung kanyang side. So, may mga nakikita kayong mga terms. Yan, as a snap or knee. No? We have the crest, the water plate. Okay, and so on. So, let's discuss, no? The terms that uh, we could see or we could actually encounter in terms of wheel. So, we have the nap or the overflowing stream in the wheel. No? So, the crest of the wheel is the edge of the, or top surface of the wheel with which the flowing liquid comes in contact. So, Let's go back to the illustration. So, sabi, nap is the overflowing stream of the weir. Ito yon, Yung nap, ayan. So, overflowing yan. And then, the crest of the weir, ito, kung saan daw nagtatouch, no? No, dun sa ating plate. Yan, no, the crest of the weir. Ano pa? We have the contracted weir. So, weirs having side sharp edge so that the nut is contracted in width or having end contraction with one end or two ends. So, 
let's go back here, no? Dito hindi natin siya makikita, pero may say contraction. So, eto, no? Parang kapag na-selection natin siya, doon natin makikita yung contraction. Parang nipis, no? Okay? So, we have the suppressed wear, no? Or full width wear, which is having its length being equal to the width of the channel. So, ano to? That the nape suffers no contraction. So, ano lang? Normal, no? Parang rectangular shape na equal yung kanilang side. Hindi siya nakokontract. Suppressed, no? Yung term. And then we have the drop down curve, no? Actually, you could see that on the uh, illustration ito. Na meron tayong drop down dyan or the draw down. Okay? So, the down downward curvature of the liquid surface before the wear. So, ito, balik tayo sa illustration. Ito yan. Ito, 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 ito. Ito yung draw down or the drop down. Diba? Nagkaroon ng uh, difference or should I say delta, no? The change in height. Okay? And then we also have this term, what we call the head, or the distance between the liquid surface and the crest of the wheel. So, measured from the drop-down curve. So, dito, ito yan. Yung H na yan is mula dito, papunta dito, no, sa crest. Ito, ito, ito. Ito yung head na sinasabi dyan sa ating illustration. Ito po. Yan, no, this is the head. Okay? So, those are the terms that we could encounter. Actually, we are encountering na no, as we go along with this topic, yan, may encounter na natin yan. Okay? So, that is for our classification of wheels and some of the definition of part of the wheels. Okay? Now, let's move to the one of the classification or commonly used wheel, which is what we call the rectangular wheel. Okay? So, we say re rectangular wheel. So, this is uh, the wheel, no? So, uh, this, uh, it's uh, what we call suppressed, no? Suppressed wheel shower in the length here is equal to the length on the top, no? Ito. So, suppressed, no? It's a type of suppressed wheel na uh, meron na equal yung kanilang length. So, considering a differential area, no? Nakikita nyo yung dH multiplied by the L, no? Located H meters from the top of the surface, no? So, by orifice theory or yung ating theory in orifice, if you get to remember, now, we have the uh, orifice theory, naalala nyo pa ba yun, na that V no, is equal to square root ng 2GH for the velocity or V sub 1. So, we have this uh, integration process. No? Ito. Ayan. Balik tayo. So, we have this integration process na wherein we know that DQ is, oh sorry, the velocity, no, or there's a head, now, that H here is not just the head or the H part. We have the DH. Now, we're in. We could call that as H sub V. Ito. Okay? So, where H sub V, no, yung velocity, that is equal to V squared over 2G. Now, H sub V here, no, ito rin yun, galing dito, di ba? So, lalabas, V squared is equal to 2G H. No, yung H dito ay, yung itong DH na to, no, ito yan na very small, that we could call it H sub V, or H sub V is equal to V squared over 2G. Tama ba? So, ayun yun. Okay? So, it's similar to what we call the minor head loss. Okay? So, from there, we could have this formula, no, that 2 thirds C, square root of 2GL, hindi natin i-derive yan for the sake of time. So, galing din naman yan dun sa ating derivation, ating discharge. Okay? So, ayan po. And then, if, ayan, so, yung ating 2 thirds C, ito, 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 2 thirds C is square root of 2 G L, no, yung L dyan hindi nakalagay sa square root, ha? we could actually note, denote that as C W or the coefficient of wear or what we call wear factor, okay, na equal nyo nga doon sa 2 thirds L square root of 2 G. So, mapapaiksi natin yon to this or mapapareduce natin to this one itong equation na to. And then, we could have the equation that Q is equal to CWL raised, H raised to 3 halves. No, kung baga, makakancel natin yung ating H sub V, wherein, ano siya, sobrang small na, or nananagrek na natin yung H sub V raised to 3 halves. No, parang nga siyang minor loss. Okay? So, ayun, magiging ganito na lang. And alam natin itong CW ay ito rin po. No? 2 thirds L square root of 2G. Okay? So, that is for our 
uh, rectangular here. And we still have this one formula left, no? wherein if the discharge not required, considering the velocity of the approach, no? or in, in terms of h sub in the function of q, parang lalabas ganito na yung equation natin. Yan. So wherein d, oh sorry, q is equal to cw, c sub w l raised L multiplied by H raised to 3 halves, multiplied by, hindi na siya yung H raised to 3 halves lang, no? Parang may multiply, may factor tayo dito. Ito, ito, ito. No? Galing din dun sa kanina equation, no? Pero gagamitan natin ng 1 plus C sub 1 multiplied by H over D squared. And C sub 1 is 3 halves multiplied by C sub W squared over 2G. Ito yung kanilang definition. D there is the depth of the water upstream. And D is equal to H plus P. Saan ang galing yun? Balik tayo sa form or illustration. Ito. So, ito yun. Yung D is this one, no? Depth. So, H plus P, no? Yung ating D. Kumbaga, yung depth of the upstream, no? Parang ano siya. Kung kinrosection nga natin, ito kasi yung part ng upstream, di ba? Yung H lang. Yung P yun sa downstream, no? So, parang lumalabas kapag natapon, papunta dito. Ito na yun, di ba? Yung kanina dun sa naka section or so let's say elevation so ayun yung ating formula for this one okay eto so ayan po ano dagdag the formulas para sa sa rectangular wear okay so that is for our rectangular wear okay so balik tayo tayo ng mabilis so we have this formula on the rectangular wear na 2 third c multiplied by square root of 2g multiplied by l Multiply by the quantity H plus H sub V raised to 3 halves minus H sub V raised to 3 halves. Remember, H sub V is V squared over 2G, no? Or V sub A squared over 2G na mukha siyang, ano, minor head loss, okay? So, but in weirs, di natin tinatawag the minor head loss yun. So, meron siyang head pa rin, no? That is because of terms of V sub H, no? Yung kanilang, ah, uh, tawag dito, derivative or derivative, no? Parang from the top, no? The water surface, ayan yun, Okay? So, yung from the drawdown, ba? Para may velocity yon tapos nag-drawdown siya hanggang sa nagkaroon ng contraction, no? Pero in this case, mukhang suppressed siya because both sides ay, ano, yung L length, length natin ng wear equal to sa length ng ating uh, water, no? Or liquid, okay? So, ayan. So, that's why naging ganyan yan from the, the discharge equation, no? Hindi ko napapakita dyan that Q is equal to AV, Yan, so, mula doon, so, doon arrive natin up until nagkaroon tayo ng ganitong formula. So, the second said, no, kapag, ayun nga, yung, C, yung 2 thirds L square root of 2G or 2 thirds square root of 2G L, pwede natin gawin siyang CW or wear factor. So, kapag nangyari nga na yung ating H sub V or yung ating V squared over 2G or V squared over 2G ay sobrang liit na, uh, pwede natin siya maneglect, no, because of the ratio of H sub V. No? So, ayan. So, magiging ano na rin siya. Sobrang liit na rin ang ating uh, V squared over 2G. Ayan. Kaya na na neglect na. So, pero, kung meron siyang amount, no, yung ating H sub V, eto yun, no? That is, madadagdagan yung equation na na-neglect yung H sub V ng 1 plus C sub 1 square root, sorry, quantity squared ng H over D, no? Pero yung ating C sub 1 is 3 halves multiplied by C W squared over 2G. Okay? So, that is for our rectangular wheel. Now, let's have this discussion on standard wheels. No? So these are the following specification that must be applied to standard rectangular wheels without end contraction. Parang walang nangyari nga. So, the same with this illustration. Ito ay without end construction. Ito, no? So, parang without yan, end contraction. So, kasi nga, pantay, no? So, yung ating L sa wear, or should I say sa channel bed, is equal to yung L na rin na ito. Okay? So, balik tayo. Ito. And so, this is the standard. So, one, the upstream face of the wear plate should be vertical and smooth. Yan. So, number two, the crest edge shall be level and shall have a square upstream corner and shall be narrow. Know that the water will not touch it again after passing the upstream corner. Okay? So, number three, the sides of the flume shall be vertical and smooth and shall extend a short distance downstream past the wear crest. So, katulad kanina, no? The pressure under the nap shall be atmospheric. Kaya, yung mga pressure natin doon, parang 
uh, kung may values, bibigay. Kung wala, let's assume it as zero. Okay, parang nangyayari ay ano. So, from the, uh, parang reservoir, ganun yung dating, no? So, you pair under the nap, atmospheric na siya. Okay? The approach to channel shall be uniform cross-section for a sufficient distance above the wheel or shall be provided with baffles that a normal distribution velocity exists in the flow approaching the weir and the water surface is free of waste or surge, surge, surges. O parang magiging ano lang, free flow lang. Okay? So, ganon. Kaya, meron pa rin tayo siya tawag na HRV. Yun yung galing sa bago dumaan ng drawdown or drop down, di ba? Yun yung term natin kanina. So, ito yung standard specification for the standard views. Okay? So, that is uh, for our standard view. Okay? So, when, we come, when it comes to standard wear, nabanggit na rin natin kanina, meron tayo tawag ng mga wear factors. So, so may iba't ibang formulas yan, depende sa tao na nag-derive. Okay? So, meron tayo tayo tawag ng Francis formula. Okay? So, wherein the CW here is equal to 1.84 multiplied by 1 plus 0.26H over D squared. This is for SI unit. Okay? States here that based upon the experiments of rectangular wheels from 1.0 meter or 3.5 feet to 5.18 meter 70 feet long under heads from 180 millimeter to 490 millimeter. So, ito yung kanyang ginawang experiment ni Francis. No? Apinito to, hindi siya pangalan. Okay? Hindi siya first name. Yun yung ano niya, or Francie, ganun. Kasi French ata. Okay? So, yun, no? yun yung ginamit niyang a CW based on the experiment. These are SI, kasi SI naman yung binabanggit na unit. Parang naka-open close parenthesis yung English, you know, yung mga fit. Okay? So, we also have this, no, Francis formula pa din, but if HP, o yung ratio, no, kanina, di ba? No, ano nga ulit yung H, yung H yung atin sa height ng no, upstream, yung P sa downstream na, no? So, kapag less than 0 0.4 yung ratio, Pwede na natin i-reduce no, to this one. CW pag SI 1.84, tapang English 3.33 na. Okay? So, ayan yung kapag sa Francis formula. Next, we have the, yung tinatawag natin na Rebok and Chow formula. Sa Rebok and Chow formula, sa kanila, meron dalawa. No? Sa pag English yung unit, eto siya, this is 3.27, ito nasa baba yung una kong binabanggit, sa 0.40 H over P. Alam natin yung H over P. Balikan natin yung illustration. So, rectangular yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, et, eto siya. Okay, balikan natin dito. Yan. No? H over P, eto, to, to. Eto, tsaka eto. Okay? So, meron tayong kanina nga nga yung Francis uh, formula. Okay? So, yan. Okay? So, ito, ito naman yung D. No? D natin is H plus P. Diba? Tanda natin yan. That D, or the depth, no? yung total depth, is equal to H plus P. Yan. And then, we have the uh, Rebok and Chow. Ito na. Sa kanya, H over P na. No? Parang din na lecture niya na. Kasi, just unlike kay Francis na meron pang restriction, diba? So, ito din na lecture niya. Pag SI, 1.84 plus 0 0.22 H over P. Okay? So, eto where din tayo na basin formula so ito naman no rectangular wheel siya wherein no, your length is 0 0.5 meter to 2 meters under head sa 50 mm to 600 so ito mukhang mas malaki compared dun sa Francis na balikan nga natin yung Francis formula sa kanya kasi 180 to 490 lang no pero mataas yung start ng head unlike sa basin na mukhang mababa pero sobrang layo din naman no, yung kanyang range so ito yung kanyang mahabang formula that is 0 0.5518 multiplied by 3.4 sorry 3.248 multiplied by 1 sorry multiplied plus 0 0.2161 over h multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.55 h over d yan squared no sobrang mahaba-haba no yung kanyang uh, formula for basin okay ano nga ulit yung tatlo no for the wear factors we have the francis formula ito we also have, kapag kay Francis formula, no, kapag na-reduce na nga, or yung ating H sub P is less than 0 0.40, ito yung pwedeng gamitin. We also have the Rebok and Chow formula. Ito, nakikita natin sa screen. No? Pwede natin uh, matandaan. Actually, madali lang siya tandaan. No? Kapag uh, SI, ang tip is mas maliit talaga yung mga numerical values or coefficient. 
di ba? 1.84 and then 0.22. Unlike kapag English na 3.27 0.4. Remember nga lang, yung 0.22 and 0.4 multiplied by H over P yung ratio. And then we have the base formula. Ito medyo mahaba-haba no, that we need to remember or memorize. Okay? So now, let's go to the contracted rectangular wheels. Kanina, mukhang suppressed yung wheel. No? When you say suppressed, walang kahit na ano no na suppression from the both ends okay so or standard wheel ang tawag sa kanya so this time ito meron siyang uh, contraction so we have the 1n contraction ito where n is equal to 1 and 2n oh, contraction where n is equal to 2 so ang gagamitin niyan in this formula to find the value of l that l prime minus 0.1 nh okay so just like i've said n is the coefficient for depending upon the side of contraction. Okay? So, ano pa? L prime is measure length of the crest. So, yung crest na yung measure doon. Number of N contraction yung N and H is the measured head. Okay? So, ayan ngulit for our contracted rectangular. So, ito lang, no? Parang lumalabas. So, para magamit natin yung formula for the let's say CW, no? Tapos, babalik tayo dun sa original formula ng rectangular wheel. So, ito yung for the length. No? Pag nagkaroon ng contraction. Kaya na kasi suppress or standard. Okay? So, now let's move with the triangular wheel or what we call V-notch wheel. Okay? So, pag mga V-notch wheel or triangular wheel, they are uh, used for very low heads. No? Ano yan? No? Yung rectangular wheel kapag may tendency na ano, magkaroon ng very low or to adhere to downstream face. No? So, ito yung ginagamit natin yung ating V-notch we are wherein, no, yung ating vertex angle na nag-iring siya from 10 degrees, no, ito yan, no, kung nakikita nyo sa screen, ito po, no, nag siya from 10 degrees to 90 degrees, pero hindi na lumalaki kasi nga pang 90, right angle na yun, okay? So, ayun na, no, at rarely siya lumalaki, no, kung lumaki man or tumaas man sa 90 degrees, rare, no? So, ito yung kanilang mga formulas no, na pwede natin gamitin. So, for the actual discharge, no, remember, no, lagi talagang merong uh, equation ng uh, C, or should I say, no, the coefficient of discharge. No, lagi kasi actual eh. No? This one, no, for the actual discharge, ito na siya. So, 4 over 15 multiplied by the uh, coefficient of discharge, square root of 2G multiplied by L, and H raised to 3 halves. No? Saan galing yan? Galing yan dun sa equation natin ng ano ng uh, yung kanina no yung h na merong ah uh, dito from the rectangular yun nga lang kasi nga pag very low yung head so magkakaroon ng, de ng de uh, deviation so then kapag walang uh, both sides ay nag uh, equal yung inclination ito kasi equal no equal inclination ito no equal yung inclination both sides Pero pag ito, hindi. So, lalabas, meron kang, no, yung tangent theta, no, madilibay pa sa 2, no, so that is 8 over 15, C squared of 2G tangent theta over 2 H, multiplied by H raised to 5 halves. Or, etong 8 over 15, C squared of 2G, magiging CW na lang, or, or wear factor. Okay? So, ayan, no, for triangular, wear or V-notch. And, kapag naka 90 degrees na, no, unlike kanina, diba, ito parang, like I've said, no, mag-range, pwede nga siya mag-range ng 10 to 90. Ngayon, pag naging 90 degrees na siya, so, eto na, parang wala na, no, na bawas na natin yung mga mahabang equation. So, yung Q na lang, or discharge natin is 1.4 H raised to 5 halves, no, kapag SI. Okay, kapag English, 2.5 H raised to 5 halves. So, wala na yung C dyan, kasi, ano na, na, ano na, na, na deduce na, no, or na-reduce na. Okay? So, just like yung kanina sa mga uh, uh, wear factor, parang, yun nga, madaling tandaan kapag SI in English because mas mali talaga yung mga numerical coefficient na SI compared to English. Okay? So, that is for our triangular wear or the notch. Then, we have, next, we have the what we call trapezoidal. Yan, pag trapezoidal, ganito siya, no? Meron siyang uh, yung square na nagkaroon ng inclination. Yan. Okay? So, that is the uh, trapezoidal, no? Mga siyang square, uh, sorry, square or rectangular no? na nagkaroon ng 
inclination. Okay? So, makikita natin dyan na yung ating discharge formula ay equal sa ano, uh, CW sub 1, no, or yung ating wear factor, multiplied by LH raised to 3 halves, tapos may wear factor ba na napangalawa Z raised to H, uh, sorry, Z multiplied H raised to 5 halves. Yung H natin dito, ito yung kanina, no, yung ating tangent theta over 2. Kasi mayroon tayong angle, eh, diba? So, ayan yun. Tapos, meron tayong C sub, CW1 and CW2. Yung Z, no, ayan yun, no? So, uh, substitute siya kasi ng tangent theta over 2. In this case, yung Z natin is equal to B over H. Ito yun, no? B multiplied by H. Diba yun yung tangent theta over 2. Opposite over adjacent yan. Okay? So, yun yung Z value. Ito yan, no? Ayan yun. Okay? So, ngayon, yung ating coefficient, or sorry, wheel factor, binibigay yan, dalawa, kasi nga, naging trapezoidal, no? Dalawa yung kanyang uh, angle. Lalo na kapag unequal. Ngayon, pag equal, magiging isa lang siya. Okay? So, that is for our trapezoidal sharp crested yung wear, no? Na ginagamit natin. And then, next we have the sipulete wear. Now, yung mga sipulete wears are trapezoidal wears with side slope na merong 1 is to 4, no? Ibig sabihin, 1 horizontal, 4 vertical. Or, for this illustration, ganito siya, yan. Ito yung binabanggit ko, na meron siyang side slope na 1 horizontal and 4 vertical. So, yun yun. And then, meron tayong theta, na yung theta dyan, eto, no, if this is the, okay, yan. So, ito yung theta na yun, na may values na 75.96 degrees. At yung alpha natin, no? Alpha, ito naman, no, yung ating, dito sa kabilang side, parang minus 90. Diba? Kung ito yung theta natin, yung alpha, ito, okay, ayan. So, minus 90, that is 14.04 degrees, okay? So, ayan, kasi nga yung slope niya is 1 to 4. So, Ito, diretso na siya, given, basta given yung height na ating sepulete wear. Now, we have this, the, for the SI, the actual discharge is 1.859 H raised to 3 halves. And then for our English, is 3.37 H raised to 3 halves. Basta given na, no? Yung length, okay na yan, kasi uh, mukhang, ano nga, contracted yung wear, di ba? So, kanina kasi standard, na nag, kung nag, naging trapezoidal na siya, medyo nakakontract na, no? May contraction na nangyari. So, so, meron siyang additional area no, kapag si Poleto Weir uh, at the sides adds approximately enough effective weight to the stream to offset the side contraction. Kaya, ganyan, no, para hindi masyado magkaroon ng mataas na level ng contraction pero meron pa din. Okay? So, that is for si Poleto Weir. And, we have the, what we call the Sutro Weir or in other reference material, it's called, uh, it is also known as Proportional Flow Weir. So, when we say Sutro Weir or Proportional Flow wear, so these are, so ito yung itsura niya, no? So it may be uh, uh, noted in a rectangular wear, this charge varies for, with 3 halves power of H, no? Yung kanina, di ba? Kaya H raised to 3 halves, no? So, tapos kapag triangular, 5 over 2, no? Yung ating H. In this case, no? Kapag sutro wear, no? Uh, may tataw siyang proportional flow, no? Nangyayari ay, ito na siya, no? Nagiging hyperbolic, no? Yung ating side, eto, eto, eto. No, kaya, naging sutro. No, kasi yung proportional yung kanilang wear, no, hindi na siya, ano, hindi na magiging uh, katulad ng trapezoidal and rectangular and triangular. Okay, so, meron din siyang, tinatawag din siyang retger wear, no, aside from sutro, it's also called retger. So, maybe the two of them are, ano, yung sila yung nagtulong to have this, uh, what we call, sutro wear, a proportional flow wear, wherein the actual discharge is equal to 1 half C, discharge coefficient pi, K raised to K multiplied by square root of 2G times H, where K is 2X multiplied by square root of Y. Saan galing to? Sa hyperbola. No, dito. Okay? So, hyperbola equation. Okay? Yan yung value ng K natin. Okay? And yung last natin is yung tinatawag na natin na submerged sharp wear, no? Wherein the discharge over submerged sub is affected not only by the head on the upstream side H sub 1, but by the downstream H sub 2. So, ganito siya. Ayan. Okay, we're in, no, yung ating formula, no, pero tayo tawag na discharge ng submerged, ito yun, Q sub S, kaya may Q sub S yan, discharge ng submerged, over the discharge ng free or unsubmerged. Okay, ito yun. 
na no, umaga naka-ratio siya, is equal to 1 minus, yan, 8 sub 2 over 7, 8 sub 1, raised to n, no? tapos yung buong yun, raised to 0.385, where in yung n, 3 halves pag rectangular, kasi pwede man naman maging rectangular, and 5 over 2 pag triangular, where in, sa makikita to, doon sa h value, di ba? Yung kanina, so yung mga formulas, parang kung mapapansin nyo, h raised, h, h raised to 3 halves pag rectangular, h raised to 5 halves pag triangular. Okay? So, kaya sa cipoleti and trapezoidal, may nakita kayong h raised to 5 halves. No, yun yun. Kasi may portion ng rectangular, may portion ng triangular. Okay? So, that is for the submerged sharp weir. Okay? Or sharp crested weir. Okay? And the last is, yung tinatawag na natin na eto yung ating mga unsteady flow weir. So, the same thing yung kanina, no, with unsteady flow, no, you may tank and then we have these uh, dalawang tanks na merong uh, area ng surface or area uh, surface nila na kung saan magkakaroon ng deviation on the uh, height. Okay? So, ganun din kapag unsteady flow ng weir. No? Meron tayong so unsteady flow ng weir, ganito yung itsura niya. So, meron tayong weir with varying end. So, magbabago yung itsura. And then, reservoir of tank with constant water, A sub S, no? Constant yung water, para kanina dun sa ating dinarive na unsteady flow. Pero may variation yung head. This sa weir. So, lalabas. Ito na siya. So, yung ating time no, to, to to have this uh, height no, from H2 to H... Uh, sorry. From H2 to H1, tama. Is A sub S nung ating constant weir surface area. Multiple by DH over Q sub O yung ating out. no Or, kapag... Uh, Simplify natin further. So, parang kanina lang din. Yung 2AS, no? Multiple over CWL. Yun nga lang, ito ay pabaliktad na. Parang kasi, ano siya, weird. Ano siya, hindi na siya tank, no? That is 1 over square root of H sub 2 minus 1 over square root ng H sub 1. Okay? So, ayan po yun sa atin sa mga wheels. Where in CW is equal to wheel factor. We have this L as the crest length. A sub S contact surface, uh, A sub 1, initial, and A sub 2, final. Okay? So, now, let's move no, to our sample problems. Okay? So, sample problems. Yan. Now, for our sample problems, we will move to Microsoft Whiteboard so that we could actually have the uh, continuation of no, our sample problems. 